From the beaches to the valleys, the number one newscast at 6. KEYT News Channel 3, where the news comes first. Good evening, I'm Beth Farnsworth. CJ Ward is off. Dangerous high speed and excessive alcohol are both key factors in last month's crash on the Santa Barbara Mesa that killed three people. News Channel 3 senior reporter John Palminteri joins us live at the accident site. John, you got the police report on this today just after it was released. And this investigation involved a very detailed and extensive view of the crash scene and a technical report about exactly what happened as this car went through this rock and that power pole and on the other side of that tree. The bottom line was speed and alcohol took three young lives. Santa Barbara police say the triple fatal accident August 9th on Cliff Drive was connected to excessive drinking by the driver and dangerous speeding. The driver, Angel Flores, was determined to have a blood alcohol level of 0 0.20, and the car, a Lexus sedan, was going at 94 miles an hour. Um, in California, the legal BAC is a 0 0.08, so he's about two and a half times over that limit. And then with regard to speed, um, he's probably traveling uh, nearly twice the speed limit on Cliff Drive. And the speed limit on Cliff Drive is 40 miles an hour. Police say the street did not have any factors that were part of the crash. Part of the police investigation involved determining where the vehicle left the roadway, right around here where this curb is, and how far it traveled, striking other objects along the way before it came to a rest by that very large tree. The investigation included some interviews, but also technical devices that can recreate what the vehicle was doing and at what speed. A computer plot of the accident scene and from there uh, making calculations uh, that give insight as to things like uh, how, how fast the car was traveling and what the direction of travel was at different points of impact. Besides 24-year-old Angel Flores, who was behind the wheel of the sedan, the crash also took the lives of 28-year-old Benjamin Rubio and 19-year-old Daniela Hearn. Sadly, this is uh, an example of um, three deaths that could have been prevented uh, if someone had not been drunk driving. There was one other person in the car in the front right seat, the passenger seat in the front. His name was Michael Mendoza. He was able to survive, but he had some serious injuries. Reporting live in the Santa Barbara Mesa this evening, I'm John Palmentary, News Channel 3. Finally, we felt some relief from the heat today. News Channel 3 Chief Meteorologist Alan Rose joins us now from the First Alert Weather Center. Hi, Alan. Hi, Beth. Much better out there, but still about 10 degrees or so above average in the Santa Barbara area. Better than the 105 we saw back on Monday, though. Today we're 87, Goleta at 80, Lompoc at 60.